how would you sum up just kind of the way that summer ended and everything you guys are trying to accomplish? Yeah, no, I, I think it ended really well. You know, we had the freshmen in that last month, um, all the newcomers in. So we kind of were, it was the first time we were a real team, um, which is, you know, that's what we're trying to build, uh, creating a culture, instilling that culture with Coach Edwards and his philosophy and getting these young guys up to speed, getting the old guys up to speed. And uh, it, it finished well. It was, it was really good. I was happy with it. I saw Jalen Bates posted the, his first photo, and then the, the summer ending yep. photo. Can you talk about his his development? Were there other guys that you feel like had a similar sort of evolution? Yeah, you know, it's funny. His wasn't even the best one. Um, there was a lot of, certainly a lot of body composition changing. Um, you know, Zach Robertson lost 35 pounds. Um, you know, Steve, Steve Miller, he lost 25. Um, it's there's there's a lot of really good really good changing going on it, it's a testament to them and their hard work you know they did they did the work um, Jalen works harder than, than a lot of guys you know he's in extra all the time he's doing he's very conscious about his extra he he's uh, he's directive with it you know it's not just frivolous extra for no reason he's he knows what he's doing um, he needed to have a good summer and he did and, and Hopefully, we can put it all together this fall. Were there any guys whose strength numbers really jumped? There's a lot of guys. You know, yeah. you know me. I don't like to single out guy. You know, one individual or another because we're a collective unit, and and it's. Um, but yeah, we had a, we had a lot of improvements. Uh, a lot of improvements as a, as a whole. You know, you look at the number of guys that do certain things, and from you know January to now. It, we have more guys that can do certain things than we did before, which is good. Yeah, that's what we want. So you mentioned some of the linemen; those guys can change their bodies more than other groups, probably, mm -hmm. just with the weight loss. Yeah. Or, is that was that the group that you felt had the most overall difference from when you inherited them to now? Or? Yeah, I would say so. You know, and, and a lot of those guys just need to get cleaned up a little bit, um, and it's just going to help them play faster, play longer, more conditioned, be a little bit quicker. You know, you pick up a, a 35 pound dumbbell and you hold it in your hand, think about taking that much weight off your body. I mean, that's mm. that that's gonna speed you up. Yeah. And, and, you know, some of those guys did that. And they're still they're still gonna play physical because they're stronger. You know, Steve, he he gained a lot of strength this off season and he lost 25 pounds, which is, that's extremely difficult to do because you have two conflicting things happening. Mm. And, uh, you know, he's not the only one. There's a, there's a lot of them, so it's yeah. pretty good. What about just the freshman class overall? Mm -hmm. Like, how did they perform? How did they come in? Yeah. I think that uh, every freshman class I've ever been around, when, you know, they're getting recruited and, you know, you, you get to know them before they get here, they all think they're ready. And then they get here and they're a little bit surprised with how hard things are. Uh, that wasn't any different. Uh, there's, there's a, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna see how this camp goes with a few of them. That, they're gonna help us. Um, and the nice thing about that group is they're really good people. They, they really work really hard, and uh, there's not a lot of messing around. They, they, they want to be good. They're competitors. So, that's what we like. You know, some of those junior college guys, same deal. You, junior college, sometimes you don't know what you're getting, and. and we got some guys that are, that are willing to work and like to work, and they're really talented. So it's yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see. We saw some of them out here tonight. Can you tell kind of right away when the newcomers come in um, how good their um, high school weight program was? Like, I think it depends. Um, yes and no. It's all about compliance mm -hmm. in high school. In reality, what you know, they might have the best weight program in the world, but if they don't go or they're not required to go then then I don't know so it's really about compliance and here it's you know you do what you got to do you have to and uh, you can see by watching them move you can see by watching them just in that first warm-up who you know needs a little bit of work and who's kind of ready to go or who's willing to compete and push and who you know still needs some love and needs to get built a little bit so we saw one of the twitter videos of uh Rennell just kind of doing some crazy things what have you seen this summer um in specific from him yeah Rennell is um extremely gifted very talented uh really really strong um Rennell actually put on 10 pounds of muscle believe it or not this summer 
um, just kind of freaky. And in the wintertime, you know, Rennell relied on his God-given talent and his ability. Mm -hmm. um, but this offseason, Rennell learned to push through things that were really, really difficult and challenging. I think he'd be the first one to tell you that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're really proud of him for it. I think it's going to help him this fall. Is he, I mean, do you want to say who the strongest guys are, pound for pound? Rennell's, Rennell's <laughs> one of our strongest guys. And who else would be kind of in that category? Yeah, there's there's a lot of guys that are strong. Okay. Um, what have we not, what have you not told us that's important? tonight well like what would you what would you want to get out there the the only thing I want to get out there is whatever you want to know about the summer and what we do and what we did right. ask the players because they'll tell you the truth there's no agenda they're not trying to build themselves up it's the truth yeah so ask them what they think and ask the coaches what they think and, and that's that's what you yeah you know that's what you got to go by mm -hmm. I I always tell people I judge myself on what the players feel about what we're doing because it's the belief. It's mm -hmm. got they have to believe, and I think right now we're in a good space for that. They believe in what we're doing, and they believe in what we're doing on the practice field. They believe in what we're doing in training. They believe in what we're continuing to do in training during camp. So is that it. is that because of the accountability or leadership were, were to your expectations or to the, what it should be? That and results, you know. You see the, the pre and post pictures, you see your your numbers, you see the effort you put in, you know in your heart of hearts what you actually did and how hard you actually worked as a player. That creates a lot of confidence. You know? Thank you. You got it. Man. Appreciate it. Thank All you right. so much. You got it.